My name is Alan with Earth Glow Inc. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another fragrance oil haul for my 2023 Rustic Collection. Um, so we're going to be checking out some fragrances from Aztec, The Flaming Candle, as well as Candle Science. And if you haven't checked out parts one, two, and three um, of this haul, I would recommend watching those um, before you do check out this video. But anyways, let's get right into it. So the first fragrance that I think I'm going to try out is Wood Sage and Sea. Um, wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is supposed to be a Joe Malone type. Um, I haven't smelled the Joe Malone fragrance, so I wouldn't be a good one to consult um, if you're trying to get an exact dupe on this. But let's see what it does. Hmm. Okay, out of the bottle, this is light. Um, I've been saying that a lot about Aztec's fragrances, and I will have to say that I've made a lot of their scents into candles, and this would be like my main complaint um, with Aztec is that their fragrances are very light. Um, I'm definitely getting like the sage and the sea. It's a beautiful fragrance. It does have kind of like a mysterious quality to it. Almost like uh, mysterious, luxurious soap of some sort, I could see. Or if you've smelled like Black Sea from Candle Science, um, this definitely has some similarities. Um, I could see this being like their Moon Lake Musk almost. It's really dramatic and earthy. Um, beautiful fragrance, but I am going to pass on this one. Um, I think it's just... Not quite the vibe I'm going for with my rustic collection. So again, um, the chopping block is where I put all the fragrances that I'm passing on. And then this other tray over here is where I put the fragrances that I'm going to keep considering uh, for my collection. Okay, the next one I want to try out is Fallen Leaves um, by Candle Science. And this one I think is going to smell like a lot of like the leaves fragrances that are really common um, for candle makers and that I've smelled a lot of. But... Oh wow, this is strong out of the bottle. And um, Candle Science's fragrances, some of them have some of the best performance in soy that I've tried. Um, I'm not affiliated with the brand in any way, but gosh, some of their fragrances have amazing HT in soy. Um, and you do wanna do your own testing, but wow, this is really good. I'm getting like the typical notes here of the berries and like the nectar and like some cedar wood, sandalwood um, that you would get like in a leaves type of a fragrance. This is nice. Um, I'm gonna definitely put this in my yes pile. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one in my yes pile to keep considering. Um, okay, next let's try Cozy Flannel by Aztec Candle and Soap Supplies. And this one, I'm thinking I'm probably going to know exactly what it smells like. I've smelled a lot of flannel fragrances, and I like a lot of them. I will say that they can have more of like a soapy almost quality or almost like sometimes um, a sort of artificial perfumey quality. Um, so I'm hoping that this one is more warm and inviting. Um, more of like a, like a flannel flannel, not like a wannabe flannel. So let's see what Cozy Flannel does. Oh, wow. Okay, um, this really reminds me of something. What does this remind me of? This is like if you took flannel and you mixed flannel with... Oh, like some lavender driftwood or something. Or... You mixed flannel with like black licorice. Um, mm, it's not really what I'm going for. It, it. Why does this remind me so much of black licorice? Or like of like an artificial lavender, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this really reminds me of black licorice, but like a sweet black licorice. I'm gonna pass. 
cozy flannel from Aztec Chopped. Um, okay, let's try caramel popcorn uh, from Candle Science. And um, I'm hoping this isn't like too sweet and more, I want it to be more of like, oh wow, okay, whoa, I can already smell it. This is very, very sweet. This is like caramel popcorn, right to a T. Like I'm at the carnival and I'm gonna get me some caramel popcorn because I wanna enjoy the fair, hang out with my friends, enjoy some caramel corn. This, you get like the candied nuts, you get oh, the sugar, the caramel, you get the starch of the popcorn. This is caramel popcorn to a tea, um, but it's just a little bit too sweet for my taste. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and try Oak. Oak for Men, BBW Type, um, by Aztec Candle and Soap Supplies. And I'm really hoping that this is not really light out of the bottle. I know people say like you have to test it in a candle, but I'll say like as someone who's tried hundreds and hundreds of different fragrances in candles, I can pretty much tell with a lot of these out of the bottle how they're gonna be. Um, like as far as if they're really weak, I just rule them out for soy candle making. Oh, this is not weak though. Okay. This is a straight on dupe. If you're looking for the Bath and Body Works Oak for Men, this is a straight on dupe. Um, I'm familiar with that fragrance and um, this is a straight on dupe. It's definitely like cologne, but it's more like a luxury smelling cologne almost, but okay, not a luxury smelling cologne. It's like a luxury soap, okay? It's, you definitely get the oak but there's also like a strong marine component to this as well. It's fresh and it's clean, but it's got something to it that's almost romantic. Um, it's got some like mystery to it. Um, this is nice. Um, not at all what I'm looking for in my rustic collection, but if you're looking for a high quality uh, masculine fragrance, I would give this one a second look. Okay, so the next fragrance I'm gonna try out is Blackberry Sage by Aztec. And I actually got a 16 ounce bottle of Blackberry Sage by Nature's Garden, only to find out that it contained phthalates. And that's something that I don't include in any of my candles. Um, so I hope that this one smells just like it, to be honest, because I love that fragrance from Nature's Garden. Um, but yeah, I don't use phthalates in any part of my candles. Oh. Mm, yeah, this smells like an artificial blackberry. I do get the sage, but the blackberry is, mm -mm, it's very artificial smelling. Um, it's got like a pungent note to it and it smells like a black raspberry or something like the kind that looks like, like neon blue in like a Coke, you know, this, how the slushy machines have sometimes where you can get um, like blue raspberry. This should be called blue raspberry. Um, okay, next let's go ahead and try um, vanilla birch. Now um, I did actually already make this one into a candle. This is a fantastic fragrance um, from Flaming Candle. I will say though, it does not have the HT I was hoping for. Um, I'm not done trying different temperatures and different things with it and different uh, wax blends, but, oh God, this is, if you, okay, let me just say this. If you use anything with paraffin wax, like a parasoy, you need to have this in your collection. Like this is a must, a must. Um, it's so warm and it's just like a hug. If you were to take vanilla, make it luxury, combine it with a little bit of white birch and West Elm vibes, vanilla birch from the Flaming Candle, that's it to a T. Um, would highly recommend if you have uh, parasoy candles or paraffin candles, I think you would get the HT out of this that I'm wanting um, with my um, soy candles. Um, I'm gonna have to put this in the chopped but I'm not done experimenting with it uh, for my candle line. 
Okay, next let's go ahead and try Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow uh, from the Flaming Candle. Now I have used the Aztec version of this um, in my Winter Wonderland collection and I'm just curious how the Flaming Candles compares. Um, I will say the Aztec one has a decent HT. It's not fabulous by any means, but it's a pretty spot on dupe uh, for the Bath and Body Works if you're looking for that. Um, so let's see what Flaming Candle can do. Hmm. Yeah, this smells pretty much like the Aztec. So it's vanilla, it's pumpkin and marshmallow. It's definitely a fun, spunky, sweet fragrance um, that screams fall and it screams something special in the fall. Um, it's definitely one to check out uh, for a fall line. I just more or less wanted to try this because I'm so familiar with the Aztec one. Um, and at this point it would just be you know, which one has the strongest HT and, um, you know, kind of go with that, but definitely a nice fall fragrance, uh, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Okay. Let's try out Amish Harvest. This one is from Aztec and I really have high hopes for it. I know like what a lot of harvest fragrances smell like, and you know, sometimes you get like the cinnamon spice. Sometimes you get like the leaves type fragrances with a little bit of musk or sometimes you'll get, um, you know, just like a cranberry, apple, you know, just those more typical pumpkin spice type fragrances. I don't know, what does the Amish part mean? Um, let's find out as I drop the lid. Yeah, it's a cinnamon spice, guys. Um, there's really nothing special going on here. I hate to say it, um, it's heavy in the cinnamon. It's heavy on the sweet department. It's like 80% cinnamon in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't have a nice cinnamon spice, cinnamon vanilla, check out this one from Aztec maybe. But if you do, um, it's nothing to really write home about in my opinion in terms of uniqueness. Okay, we're down to the last two already. Um, so let's try out Amber Noir from Candle Science. Now, this is another one that I did actually make into a candle. And um, I will say that it was light. Um, and it disappointed me with how light it was. But as I said about the vanilla pumpkin, or I'm sorry, as I said about the vanilla birch, um, if you make parasoy candles or paraffin candles, this is a really, really nice, luxurious, mysterious amber fragrance. Um, it's definitely high-end smelling, in my opinion, but um, you do need to like make a paraffin-based candle, I think, in order to really get a throw out of this, at least in my experimentation. Um, amber Noir. It's a great blender, though. I would still use it with other scents, um, but as a standalone, the HT just isn't there. Okay, and the last fragrance we're going to be trying is Pink Lilac and Willow from Aztec Candle and Soap Supply. And uh, again, I have high hopes for this one. Um, I think that it could be really unique. Um, so let's see what Pink Lilac and Willow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is like... If you took lilac and lavender and something like honeysuckle, wow, this is a beautiful lilac fragrance. Um, I love the French lilac from Candle Science. That one I blend with their lavender and it's called my Lavender Zen. Um, it's in my spa collection. But this pink lilac and willow, I would use as a standalone fragrance by itself. And um, this is really unique. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did like it, uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I will see you all in the next one.